Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I thought I'd tell you about something that happened last night. Um, yesterday evening I listened to Judy Satori's third summer school session, an MP3 that's free and available on her website. And it has to do with um, Sirius, the star Sirius and the and uh, the Syrians and it, it offers near the beginning it offers a, an activation uh, that allows us it, if we are of Syrian heritage star star brethren uh, known as Syrians uh, of that heritage that means if we have experienced some lifetimes on, on that world or lifetime on that world then then this activation of duties gives us the ability to um, to maintain contact um, with our our Syrian brothers and sisters from now on, just forever. And the minute that I listened to that activation, I knew that it was for me, and I knew that it worked for me. And so today, what I find is every time I call upon my star brothers and sisters, the Syrians, then they surround me and with a protective, protective love and, and advice and, and uh, uh, just, um, just, just upliftment and love. It's terrific. If you get a chance to listen to that MP3, I really recommend it. Um, you know, they say that, that some say that Christ uh, was of Syrian ancestry. And um, that's not uh, uh, unexpectable because the Syrians are so loving and so sweet. And uh, then they're masters of the timeline and of the dimensions, up to the fifth dimension or so. And so uh, they're very Christ-like in the way that they, they feel towards everything, towards all creatures. And then, uh, you know, it's also interesting that I read in Tom Kenyon's book, the uh, Arcturian Anthology, that, that the Arcturians say that Christ was, was part Arcturian, that he had an Arcturian father. And I guess, um, I guess this is a way of saying that um, Christ had within him most likely the experience of many uh, star nations and living in many different galaxies. And how could this not be true? Because there are many people walking on Earth today who have had that very experience, that broad experience of the, the great constellation of, of um, beings of love and light. The many constellations like that. And so Christ, no doubt, was like that too. And when, when some say, some say that he was, his father was Arcturian, and others say that he was of Hathor lineage, both could be true, you know. It could be that, that he, he had Hathor wisdom to, to draw upon from previous incarnations on other worlds. It could have been true that his presence on Earth had, had to do with a partial um, Arcturian DNA from his father. Uh, all those things are possible in Christ. So little is known about him, that how he came and transformed this world. How did he do that? You know? So, I think Judy's right that Christ was recently from Sirius, all right? And, and I say that from my heart because all day long the Syrians have been protecting me. Uh, you know, the Syrians, they also uh, colonized Venus. And, and there that arisen situation, that arisen um, uh, world, when Venus ascended, were, was known as the Hathors, the Hathor peoples. And the Hathors, through me, have been visiting Earth in the times before the Ascension. And now it's our chance, it's our opportunity as human beings to embody and to remember those traits, the traits of, 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 
of all the star beings with whom we spent our time prior to human incarnations, you know. And, and let's say you're one of those people born on earth, you can still at this point contact our star brethren and learn what they have to, to, in the way of wisdom, in the way of emotional upliftment, and, and in the way of heart's energy in the way of understanding of time and space and multidimensionality, the ability to step out of time and space into the eternal. Huh? So we have much to learn. So if you're interested in all that, I'll give you the link, the link to Judy's summer school number three session regarding the Syrians and Sirius. All right. And whatever your star heritage, I hope you get in touch with it very soon. And I hope that you escaped from all limiting notions of, of timelines into the infinite now as soon as possible. I myself, I'm bending all my efforts toward that because it's a lot more pleasant <laughs> and it's a lot more fun. And so, take care. God love you and God bless you. Until next we meet. <laughs>